In this video I'm going to show you how to create an age verification script. Um, uh, these are useful for like uh, over 18 pages. Um, if you go to somewhere like um, the LA Nose website, you'll see how they've got um, my computer has been a bit slow today. See how they've got this uh, where you enter your birthday and if uh, you're over 18 then it lets you in if you're not then uh, redirects you out of the web page and uh, plus I'm going to be um, showing you how to create sessions on this so if they are already like entered over 18 age then they will be redirected back uh, back into the, the main website and if they're under 18 then they won't have a chance to enter their birthday again until they actually close their web browser because that's when uh, sessions uh, like end if you know what I mean um, so first off I'm going to create three files um, all with PHP tags at the top just like that so um, I'm just going to call this one index.php save as again and save this one as um, enter.php and one more um, leave.php okay so now we've got our um, pages go to index and um, I've done this before the video I'm just pasted the code into a notepad because it is really repetitive so I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here and just tell you what's going on with this HTML code basically it's just a simple form um, form action goes back to index.php and it is a method post and it is a post method uh, I've just put day and the select it's going to be a select type select name is day and on these options we've got 0, 1 all the way down to 31 option 31 and then forward slash select and then another select name with your month and your month option and for this one you need a value and put them has these ones the same as the uh, the days but you can put uh, the month in word um, and the year select year I've started at 1990 but if you're going to use this script uh, for like a real live website then I'll suggest you go back to somewhere like um, the 1900s or something like that 1920s just to make sure everyone fits in and to finish off um, a submit button and uh, you've just got values enter and the name as submit you need a name on this submit button okay so that's the HTML form if I just save that and see what it looks like um, one and I need to start WAMP server might help um, and refresh there we go PHP verification there we go so we get to enter the day and we've got no month there I'll put that in a minute and you can uh, the month and the year you were born and then click enter and that will um, then check the uh, age and redirect you to the right necessary page let me just see why month isn't showing up um, I don't know what that's all about try now uh, um, let's see let's take away month I uh, don't know why it's coming up like that. Hmm. It's coming up there because um, it needs to be outside to select. So I'll just drag it up to there. Save that and that should be working perfectly fine. There we go day, month and year um, so now we are going to create the PHP code at the top of this index.html 
index.php sorry um, so first off um, I'm just going to say if okay an if statement and um, I'm just going to say if is set um, dollar underscore session submit so basically it's checking to see if the submit button has been pressed if it has been pressed then we're going to run this block of code um, so no sorry not a session post sorry so if the submit button has been pressed then we're going to run this block of code here I'm just going to create some variables here called day this will be dollar underscore post and this will get the um, day from what the user has entered and we can just copy this down twice and change this to month month and year okay so now what we've got user what what the user has entered, the user's birth date. Uh, we need to make some slight uh, changes, some slight like advanced type PHP scripting. Not advanced, but you know, a little off the basic. Um, this is I'm going to create a variable called birthday, and it's going to be MK time, which is make time. And in here, I'm just going to put zero for the seconds, comma zero for hours, zero for the minutes are zero seconds, zero minutes, zero hours, so basically dead on midnight. And then we want the month. Um, bear in mind that PHP does work in American style, um, like wording, so it won't be the day, then month, and year, it will be the month, then the day, then the year, so that's what we need to do here. Um, so month, day, year. Now that we've uh, created the user's birthday, so the user has basically entered their birthday and created it into a birthday variable. Um, the difference we're going to do now, and the difference is equal to the time variable. So time, all the default time on zero, um, and this is going to be minus the birthday. Now bear in mind if I um, let's say if I echo out. The difference. Um, oh, line twelve. I've not put a line on there. So if I enter, just click enter here. You'll see how we get this because that's how many seconds um, the difference is. Now I want to convert this second into. Um, an age a year so basically what we do is um, if you get rid of this echo um, just create a new variable called age and that is the difference divided by and we need to know how many seconds are in a year so to do this we can just go to google and just say um, one year to seconds and this gives us this value right here and then once the computer's loaded up we can then just copy this into uh, Dreamweaver and take out the spaces oops I'll take out the numbers take out the spaces and end that off there and then we can then echo out the um, age to see what we've got um, so we can get rid of that actually now so refresh that resend and you can see how this person's age would be 21 and you see that we get a load of numbers here now because of the time I'm going to carry this on in part 2 so uh, join us in part 2 for the rest of the uh, the script